Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Um, as you can tell, um, I'm still sick. Not as sick, but still very sick. <laughs> I think, I'm not sure. <laughs> but anyway guys, uh, we're doing the 2020 election if America goes to war with Iran, or Iran. So, I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna just start off with the east side of the country. Man at large, I do see going to Donald Trump by lean margins. Uh, war does usually help the president, and it'll show, his margins will show even greater, um, well, it'll be, uh, greater than what they were in 2016. The predictions are gonna give him a chance, but they're still gonna have him lose, and he's gonna blow those predictions out of the water. I do see New Hampshire being lean as well. These New England states, I feel like, would pull for the anti-war Democrats a little bit, which I think New Hampshire would be tilt in this scenario. I hate that. But, yeah. Uh, the Rust Belt, I do see Wisconsin and Pennsylvania going likely, while Michigan will be lean. Um, I think war usually does help the economy greatly. It showed that many times, especially back in the 40s when war helped us get out of the Great Depression. If you don't believe me, look it up. It actually did help. And it was a far-left Democrat. There, That's what people don't usually know. Nebraska's second congressional district, I see being likely Minnesota lean. Again, the Rust Belt, uh, Minnesota, Iowa, Wisconsin. Illinois won't be out of the safe margin, but it'll be like a 12-point win for the Democrat. Wisconsin would be a 9-point win. It'll be close to 10 points. It won't be safe, but it'll be close. Uh, Virginia, I do think with the whole, you know, um, the... Second Amendment Sanctuary County is going to be pulling out for Trump big time. I think turnout's going to be huge, especially, in a, and with war, uh, some of these, like, and the anti-war Democrat, I don't think is going to have a lot of appeal just because we're already in a war. They, it's, what's the point? I do see Virginia going tilt for Trump. North Carolina, Georgia, and Florida, the, the Sun Belt's going to pull out for, going to pull for Trump greatly in Florida as well. Uh, Florida does usually go to the incumbent president. Um, so yeah, uh, I can explain Florida's incumbent sea fetish later if you guys want. I do see Colorado going to Trump by tilt margins in New Mexico as well. Arizona, I think, would be lean. Nevada's would be lean as well. So the reason why I say it, I think the um, the Southwest, I think they would pull out for Trump. Just because the anti-war Democrats not going to be progressive, I can already tell you that much. So you can already say goodbye to the progressive on Colorado. That only leaves the moderate Democrat vote, which isn't much. Ask Cory Garner. And New Mexico, like the Latinos, are already going to pull out for Trump greatly just because of the just because of his approval rating, and the fact that you know he's gone. Um. Um. Sorry, I'm sick and my brain ain't working. The unemployment rating for Latinos is at a record low, so that's really going to help Trump. Especially, and if we're at war, margins are just going to even help out. Arizona, Phoenix won't pull. A lot of the Phoenix Democrats won't pull out, just because of the whole anti-war Democrat. You know, some moderate Democrats actually like the idea of going to war. You know, that's just how I look at it. Same with Nevada, the Latinos and the Nevada really going to pull out for Trump. Oregon, I see going lean. This is a worst case scenario for Democrats if Oregon goes to lean. Well, worst case for them in the state. Because I do think Oregon, more Republicans would pull out for Trump in Oregon if, you know, they were going to war. Well, anyways, this is the final map, and it shows Donald Trump beating the anti-war Democrat, quote-unquote, anti-war Democrat, 355 to 183. Um, yeah. Now a lot of you might be saying, why isn't Arizona safe or Georgia um, I just don't see him going safe in this scenario, even with war. I do see Texas going safe. I do. Especially if an anti-war Democrat's running, they'll most likely be running on an anti-gun policy. Which won't help them in Virginia, it won't help them in Texas, it won't help them in Georgia, North Carolina, any of these states. But yeah. Um, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Wow, I just realized the only state that was not safe for Democrats was Oregon, wow. Anyway, guys, this is the Catech One. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and um, share my videos. Let's get to 100 subscribers by June 2020. This is the Catech One saying peace.